Olive is snoring super loud, by the way. So if you hear her snoring in the background, it's uh, the pugs. Uh, quick side note, this is now Olive. Stop, Olive, GB, stop snoring. Pug snores, day in the life. What's up guys? Welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. Yes, I am just now bringing you the August Arts Next unboxing video. August was just crazy. I was traveling and teaching and working on some projects that I can't quite say yet. I did think about lumping August and September art snack boxes together, but my inner OCD was like, you can't do that. I'm separating them out. Safe to say that the September Art Snacks unboxing is coming very soon. Something else you might have noticed, pretty obvious, is that I have upgraded my equipment. Upgrade. Okay, so I'm actually filming this on a brand new camera. I also rearranged my art studio to uh, kind of have a better setup for filming. I have a new backdrop happening. I've even been practicing some of my final cut skills. So let's just say that everything is getting a big upgrade on this channel and I'm very, very excited about it. So a lot of things coming up, but for right now, let's get to the August Art Snacks unboxing. So you guys know how it works. Art Snacks is a monthly subscription for 20 bucks a month you get a sweet little box in the mail full of art supplies I of course wait to open them up on camera with you guys I check out all the supplies and then I play with them in my art journal Ugh. here is what it looks like inside full of all sorts of good stuff okay first up I'm just grabbing the biggest thing that's in here giant tube of paint uh, Dale Rowney cadmium red deep is this acrylic paint or oil? Acrylic or oil? This has to be acrylic. Yes, it's high quality, flow formula, water-based acrylic color. Uh, this is an insane amount of paint. Really bright red hue right away as soon as I open it up. But usually not a color uh, and quantity of paint that I'd be purchasing. I appreciate how beefy it is. Next up in the box is the usual sticker and snack. Jolly Rancher. Crunch and chew. Ooh, watermelon. Okay, I might need to just eat this right now. This was a really bad idea. Now I'm gonna waste my camera battery eating this thing. Okay, I guess I'm gonna be. <coughs> oh, wait. It's getting crunchy. Oh my. That's good though. That's pretty good. Next up, looks like there is a little stripey bag of some sort. Small 3D zip travel and storage. Oh, it's by Bagu. White and dark blue. Little pencil pouch. I like the handle on it. That's kind of neat. I could like attach it to another bag or something. Oh, and it's big inside. Oh my. It's, it's big guys. Look at that. So it does fold out really nicely into a pretty, pretty big size bag here. You can never have too many Pencil pouches, right? I've never gotten a pencil bag out of an Art Snacks box before, so it's something a little bit new. A little different for Art Snacks. Okay, next in the box is the uh, roll up of tissue paper stuff, which I love. I wonder if at Halloween time the tissue paper color will be different. Like if they'll do like black or like orange or something. Okay, I'm excited already because first up it is a Copic marker, which is really great, and it is a two tip. Uh, Marker. So of course we've got the chisel nib on one side, which is awesome. And then on the other side should be a bullet nib, which it is. And it's in this really interesting like lime green sort of color. This is a color that I would use. So that's pretty exciting. I am way too cheap to purchase these markers myself. Um, so it's kind of a nice little treat to be getting it in a Art Snacks box. The last item that was in the box or in that little tissue paper rather is a paintbrush. Looks like it's a size four round acrylic paintbrush. Um, Robert Simmons, I believe, is the brand, which I have not tried before, so we'll have to test that out. But great size, great tip. This is absolutely something that I would be using quite a bit. All right, so that was everything in this month's, or last month's, 
box rather. That was everything in the August Art Snacks box. This is probably the least exciting box that I've opened. The best item in the box is the marker just because it's a great color and this is something that I'd be using and I know that this is a high quality expensive item. But I think everything else was a little bit on the eh side. I've definitely had better boxes in previous months. So let's go ahead and jump into an art journal spread and see how some of these materials do. So because this Art Snacks box really didn't have a whole lot of supplies in it, uh, I decided to just kind of play around on two different substrates. So you'll see first I'm playing in one of my handmade mini art journals uh, with that Copic marker. And Copic markers are great. I already knew this was a high quality, awesome product. It's very pigmented. It blends really well. If you do a lot of marker work, it's definitely the you know top tier marker you want to get. So then I just kind of quickly moved on to the Daily Rowney acrylic paint, which was also a great product. Um, it's typically not a paint brand that I use, but the paint was very pigmented and had pretty decent consistency. So moving out of my mini journal, I now opened up my moleskin journal that I use for kind of smaller spreads, and this is a spread that is in progress. Um, and to note, I'm also using that Robert Simmons acrylic short handle paintbrush here, and it was a great paintbrush. Um, the size, like I had said earlier, is definitely something that I use quite frequently. And the brush actually had a little bit of a weight to it, so it felt really nice actually using it. So I think really of all the supplies, I think the paintbrush is probably something I will be using the most. Most. And of course the Copic marker, probably not in a spread where I have red paint. I was definitely entering Christmasville here, but it's a high quality, great product that I would use in the future. All right, well, thanks so much for tuning in for this Art Snacks unboxing video. Clearly, because I did this one so late, September's is just right around the corner. Uh, stay tuned for also a Paper Artsy unboxing, where I will be kind of checking out some of their Fresco Finish uh, chalk acrylic paints, which I've been using and I am obsessed with. Don't forget to give this video a like if you liked it. Subscribe to my channel for more art and good times. Otherwise, I will see you guys sometime next week. See you later. Bye! <laughs>